Hello everybody, today is Thursday, December 31st, 2009, and this is your last Zero News Update for the year 2009. Um, a lot of you have been writing me lately, wondering where I've been, what I'm doing, saying, Z, we miss you. Well, uh, in case you hadn't noticed, or if you hadn't watched the weather in the Northeast, it's pretty cold out here lately, and uh, has not been very conducive to doing much out in the garage, so sorry for that, but... Uh, I have been working on some projects inside as of late. Uh, one of the things that I've been working on is a complete DVD series on how to construct the constant current pulse width modulator. So the DVD should be completed um, at the beginning of January and it will be available for sale at altenergy.org. I've also been working on a project to uh, divorce myself from Windows, and I've been threatening to do this for a long time. I had a couple of false starts, but it looks like this time I may have actually succeeded. I have a project undergoing right now on my, on my netbook computer in which I run Linux as my primary operating system, and I'm running Windows as, an oper as, a, as a program in a window on Linux where it belongs. Um, so there are very few applications that I need Windows for, and almost everything else I'm doing in Linux, and I love it. Um, let's talk New Year's resolutions. It's that time of year. My first New Year's resolution is to stop leeching freeware and shareware software packages and start contributing to those developers, uh, donating to their causes. Um, some of the packages that we benefit greatly from, we, we, a lot of us take for granted, and I'll list just a couple right now. Uh, there is Linux in a number of flavors. There is BSD, SUSE, there's Ubuntu, which is my Linux flavor of choice, and uh, also projects like the Open Office project. Um, both of those are very worthy projects of s sending some, some money to, you know, Throw them a few dollars. Throw them a dollar, one dollar. If everybody who downloaded that software just sent them one dollar, they would be able to fund their operations forever. So consider sending some money to the software developers of the shareware and freeware packages that you use on a daily basis. Resolution number two, kick chemical dependencies. Um, I would not consider myself an alcoholic, but I would say that I have become a little bit too comfortable with consuming alcohol on a regular basis, and that's going to stop. In fact, it already has stopped. I took care. I started on this resolution back in November. Uh, coffee joins the list of chemical dependencies that I'm going to rid myself of as well. Next resolution: buy a couple of these. Get out start training and run a few more marathons before I kick the bucket. That's right. I said a few more marathons. You wouldn't know it to look at me right now, but I actually used to be in pretty good physical shape. I'm still in very good aerobic condition, but I would like to get back into top physical condition and get back out on the road and run a couple of more marathons. It's great fun. I've run New York City three times and uh, I've completed each run in about four hours. So that's an, that's an average runner. That's not, nothing great. You know, world class is two hours and 15 minutes, but I'm not world class. I don't expect to be, but I am going to get healthy. Next resolution, I am rededicating the mission of altenergy.org. Now, we're still going to have all the same great uh, fringe alternative energy um, experiments. We'll have plenty of focus on HHO, but one of the things that I'm going to do this year is I'm going to move the website that I constructed for this particular magazine article. Um, back in the, God, I don't even remember if it was 89 or 90, I put up this website to preserve the memory of the inventor Howard Johnson. This is the original magazine cover for that article, and you'll recognize it, okay? This is authentic. I am the one who put up that website originally to uh, preserve this knowledge and prevent it from 
being suppressed ever, ever, ever again. Um, there are a lot of you out there who are probably shaking your head saying, mm-hmm, it figures that Z had something to do with that. Well, you're right, Z had something to do with that. In fact, Z is responsible for it. I even take a little bit of the uh, heat for being responsible for Milo and his failed attempt, but I applaud him for trying, and I still believe that that motor is possible. Um, I've seen enough other website publishers mirror the image, uh, mirror the content that I created at that website, so I'm reasonably confident that that knowledge will exist and continue in perpetuity, even if mine was to go down. Uh, alt at altenergy.org, I'll also be focusing more on conventional alternative energy solutions. How to install, uh, how to purchase, um, everything surrounding current technologies that are available to the homeowner now. One of the projects that I have for the year 2010 is I'm going to start my first ever vegetable garden and it is inspired by Jules Dervais and if you have not ever heard of Jules Dervais I'm gonna post the link in the sidebar for uh, some YouTube videos and the man is truly inspirational he is a hippie from my generation uh, and he knows where it's at and he is on the path to freedom and uh, one of the statements that he makes is that one of the most dangerous things you can do is to grow your own food because that puts you in danger of becoming free and truer words have, have rarely been spoken, and I uh, am truly inspired by the man. So I will be starting my garden. I'll be chronicling that in the health and wellness section at altenergy.org. And I've purchased my first set of non-genetically modified organism seeds to start that. And also in the sidebar, I'll put a link to victoryseeds.com, which is where I purchased my non-GMO seeds. There are a number of uh, reliable outlets for non-GMO vegetables, and I would highly encourage you to get involved. Um, as part of that project, I will be constructing something similar to a Craigslist, which would be a co-op for uh, home growers so that you can get involved on a neighborhood level. Uh, one of the things that I would like to start and see happen is to have groups of growers in neighborhoods get to know each other and start their own gardens and share the share the produce between each other so go visit your neighbor knock on their door um, get to know them you may even like them and who knows if things get really tough you may need each other so this is a good time to get started uh, it's a good time to, to start uh, a relationship with your neighbors and 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 put together a, a food co-op and whenever you can support your local farmers markets. One of the special projects that I'll be covering in the year 2010 is a follow-up series on Pulse Fuel Nerds homesteading project in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a photo of some used shipping containers that he purchased which he is using as the basis for the framework of a home that he is building on a five acre plot that he bought out in Phoenix. The, uh, the model that he has created, the model that he has constructed is own as you go. And he will have, he, every time he purchases a section of the house and the housing project grows, he owns it within a very short period of time. He estimates that this project will be complete in as short as four years, after which he will own it outright. How's that for home ownership in the United States? Where most of us buy a house and we, we consider entering into a mortgage that will last a minimum of 30 years uh, and refinance for another 30 years and refinance and refinance and continue to, continue to pay interest to the bankers. Uh, he's gonna own his, his property outright and be debt free in four years. Another project he has started is the Project Sunflower I also want to follow up on. Again, Pulse Fuel Nerd. Uh, this is a rhombic drive Sterling engine project. He's had a couple of setbacks with this project, but he is well underway to creating a device that, w that can collect solar energy and turn it directly into electricity. 
to live completely off the grid and again as debt free as he possibly can. Definitely something to follow. I predict Pulse Fuel Nerd will be writing a book and making millions in the next couple of years. So congratulations Pulse Fuel Nerd. We look forward to seeing to seeing your progress and uh, I hope to follow you very very closely with with your projects. I'll be including a section on tips on how to live off the grid as part of this and be doing a follow-up series on EBN's Arduino system controller for HHO uh, that is designed to compete with and uh, essentially replace the uh, VMU device that has performed so well uh, in the past. So I've already mentioned the Linux project that I'm involved with. I hope to uh, lead the way. I think uh, this, this graphic image pretty much says it all. There's our friend Tux, and on layered on Tux is Windows, which is where it belongs, not the other way around. I also hope to do a follow-up series with Archie Fulweiler, who uh, is the organizer of the Pennsylvania Energy Fest, and uh, he has created a business model around which communities can build a co-op solar power array to uh, supplement if not provide all the power needs for small communities and he's created a business model around that that makes it a viable solution in today's economy so uh, I want to congratulate Archie for that. I hope to do a follow-up series with him. We'll be doing this and much, much more at altenergy.org. Um, obviously, it this is going to take a lot of time and a lot of hard work. I'm not really asking for donations, but what I am asking, if you could, um, I'm going to be placing some graphic images at altenergy.org. And all I ask that you do is link back to my site. If you have a forum, if you have uh, a blog, if you have, um, uh, if you're even posting on a blog, I would appreciate any time that you can post a link that is alternative energy related back to altenergy.org. It would benefit me greatly. If you want to donate, that's fine too. I appreciate I appreciate any of the any of the donations that I do receive. But you can help me most right now by just linking back to altenergy.org and helping to increase the popularity of the site. I'll be building it to serve you. Hopefully, we can help each other. That's all for now from Zero Fossil Fuel. I want to wish everyone a happy and healthy 2010. Peace, everyone.